everyone, I'm Lynette. I'm the marketing director here at Liz Moore and Associates. And today I have Liz with me. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. And we want to talk about escalation clauses, which is something that's very common in the market that we're in, but I think it's something that a lot of people don't really know a lot about. So we thought it'd be great to talk about that today. So Liz, can you start us off by telling everyone what exactly an escalation clause is? Absolutely. So an escalation clause is something that was born out of this frenzied market that we're in because buyers are often finding themselves in a situation where there's multiple offers on a property. Right. And so buyers are disappointed when they lose out because they didn't necessarily have the highest offer, but after the fact will say, darn it, I would have been willing to pay more. Gotcha. So over time in this market, agents have developed a practice with escalation clauses where the buyer will go in and say, I'm willing to pay $1,000 or $500 or whatever the number is over the highest offer on the table okay. not to exceed a certain cap. And that allows buyers, I think, more of an opportunity in a negotiation when there's more than one offer on the table. Right, right, okay, that makes sense. Well then, so would you say that it's a good idea? That's a great question. <laughs> um, and there are actually pros and cons to that question. Okay. And this is where, you know, I know I sound like a broken record, but you really need a strong, experienced agent guiding you. Right. Because every situation is different. Every seller's different. There isn't really a one-size-fits-all negotiating strategy. Right. So the pros of an escalation clause are obviously it's going to give you an opportunity to stay in the game if offers come in that are higher than yours. Okay. So that's a good thing. Right. The downside is you're essentially showing that seller your hand mm -hmm. because you're saying I'm willing to pay up to X. Right. And there's nothing really keeping that seller from saying, okay, I'm just going to counter back at the most that you're willing to pay. Right, right. So you have to be willing to take that risk. Right. And there are all kinds of other issues like appraisals. Mm -hmm. So right. oftentimes in a bidding war, we'll see a price go up, let's say from 250000 to 260000 mm -hmm. But then the mortgage company when they send the appraiser out, the appraiser can't justify the extra price, so that creates a problem for the buyer. Right, right. So what, what would happen in that, in that case? In either the buyer would have to pay the difference in the appraisal, okay. the seller would have to come down, gotcha. or they'd have to meet in the middle somewhere. Okay. And in some of the offers that we're seeing, buyers are agreeing right up front, I'll pay X number of dollars wow. over an appraised value. Right, wow. Just depends on how hot yeah. that house is. Right. Right, wow, that's that's pretty crazy. So um, are there other strategies out there to help a buyer? So if an escalation clause maybe isn't something that they want to do, are there other things that they can maybe, if they're in a bidding war, what do, you know, what do they do? How do they win? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And one of the things um, that we strongly encourage our agents to do is evaluate all of those different options mm -hmm. with a buyer. Okay. Because some buyers, some first time buyers, are frankly just not in a position Right. to pay over appraised value there. They can afford the payment, but they're cash poor. Right. So in that situation, there's different strategies that will employ often working with the lender to get a lender mm -hmm. credit. Um, there's a number of different things that can be done. Right. And one of the things that we've learned after months of being in this market, sellers are not always only interested in the highest price. Right. You know, the closing date mm -hmm. is a big issue. You know, a seller who needs flexibility in their move, right. um, so a buyer who can be flexible, that's going to be worth money to that seller. Right, right. Um, you know, other things like how strong is their financing, mm -hmm. is it a cash sale, there's all kinds of different considerations. Okay, okay. so it sounds like there's a, a lot of things that go into, <laughs> a lot of things that it's not as black and white as maybe we would like for it to be. It is complicated. So that's all the more the reason to have a great strong agent who's experienced, who can guide you through all of these things and put you in a position to hopefully make you win that bidding war, right. but um, at, the, at the very least explain to you all of your options. So if uh, you're thinking about buying, 
it's a great time to do so. You just need a really strong agent that can help you through all of these things. So shoot us a message on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, you can email us at info at lismore.com. We'll match you with an agent who's an expert in your area and help you get the house. So thank you. Okay. I cannot trip.